possible scenarios here. I mean, one scenario is that Biden could win by a landslide and then it would be over very quick. I guess the second and more likely scenario is that this could drag on for some time. Well, if you look at the results, Monty, that we've had in so far, it looks like Biden is not going to win that landslide uh, because Donald Trump is, is holding out in many of the states that he won uh, in 2016. There are some which are in the balance. We don't know yet whether or not uh, Donald Trump is going to keep hold of Florida. We don't know whether or not the Republicans are going to keep hold of Texas. Uh, these are all key states that could go one way or the other. So until we start getting those uh, uh, results through, we won't really know which way this is going to go. But the long term question here is if Joe Biden does win this election and he is given the majority of the vote, is Donald Trump going to accept that? And is Donald Trump going to want to leave the White House on the 20th of January? Is he going to hold on to power? How is this handover of power going to take place? All of these are questions that we don't know the answer to. Other question which people are asking is, is there going to be violence on the streets around the United States? The barricades have gone up in major cities and towns uh, all over the US to prevent uh, violence taking place. We've seen it in Washington. We've seen it in New York. Uh, it's a very divided country, the United States, and this election is, is, is crystallizing that divide between those in favor of Trump and those in favor of Biden. Uh, and it's very interesting uh, to see uh, that uh, Donald Trump is holding out in, in a lot of the states that, uh, that as I said, that he, he won in 2016, uh, which means that I don't think there's going to be that landslide that many of the voters in favour of Joe Biden thought was going to happen. And it makes this whole process much more uncertain and much more exciting, Monty.